This animation shows how radioactive emissions spread from the Fukushima nuclear power plant following the devastating earthquake and tsunami that struck Japan on 11th of March 2011. CTPTO's radionuclide monitoring stations, highlighted here as purple diamonds, recorded and tracked the unfolding crisis to keep authorities informed. It starts at the Takasaki radionuclide station, around 200 kilometres away from the troubled plant. Within four days, the dispersion of minuscule amounts of radioactive isotopes were detected in eastern Russia and then travelled to the west coast of the United States. Mika Nikonen, CTPTO head, scientific methods. We have to stress always that, uh, that these detections levels uh, which we saw are not harmful for human beings as uh, our detection capability is uh, at least one billion times lower to the level what is harmful for human beings. By day 15, traces from the accident in Fukushima were detectable all across the Northern Hemisphere, where it remained with the equator initially acting as a dividing line between the northern and southern air masses. But in a little over a month, traces from the release had reached the Southern Hemisphere.